Hello everyone, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today is um, Tuesday, December 6, 2022. I had to think about that for a second. Actually, I had to look down on my computer. I can't believe it's almost the end of the year. Okay, so let me know if you can hear me. I'm just going to wait until I see that first comment uh, letting me know that you can hear me. And hit Command R to refresh. There we go. I can see the video. Oh, there y'all are. So we've got uh, Carol, Sue, Chris, Kat, Lori, Kathy, Terry, uh, Danette, Jamie. Okay, awesome. You guys can hear me okay? I'm going to copy the, um, the live link really quick. And just go share uh, the video real quick. It says, we are live. Here's the link. Let's see if it's going to show a preview. Nope. That's okay. I feel like I just saw y'all since we were live for... Um, how many hours was that? Let's see. We started at 2 and we ended uh, like around, what, 4.30, 4.40? Yeah. So I just saw y'all a couple days ago, right? I have a really cute project to share with y'all tonight. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to click on live chat and then I'm going to pop this out so that I can see the... Um, See your comments. Let's see, bring this down so they don't have to look straight up. Good evening, everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I do have some jokes to tell y'all tonight. Um, and hopefully I'll remember to tell all of them. It seems like lately I've gotten distracted and only told a couple of them. Okay, so I'm going to put my face in the corner. I think let's see select all okay so y'all will have to let me know what you think about the um, the lighting I made some changes um, someone told me that the reason I was having so much trouble was um, my white paper that it was um, interfering with the white balance or something. So we're going to try this desktop here. Uh, we may try another one next week and another one the next week. I'm going to keep trying until I master and figure out the lighting situation. Okay, so originally this was going to be the project that we were going to make. Oh, Kathy, you already got your bingo packet? Wow, that was quick. It seems like I just carried them out to her yesterday. I did. Right? Yeah, I did. I just mailed them yesterday. Um, so originally this was going to be the project that we were going to make, but I decided that um, the gnome set is, re this one's retiring, but this one's coming in. So what I did, let me get the stamp set. So this is the new stamp set in the catalog that goes live on um, January 4th, I believe. So you can't order it just yet if you're um, a customer. Demonstrators can pre-order it right now. So if you're thinking about being a demonstrator, that's the plug. Um, but anywho, so the the holiday gnomes, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody, um, they are retiring, but the dies are carrying over because they're going to coordinate with this set of, with this stamp set, okay? Oh, and I wanted to show y'all. Someone earlier said, I hope you're using the owls tonight. And I'm not. Um, but look how cute that would look with the, with the owl instead of the gnome. Any, any image that will fit in the circle would look good in this box. Yeah. And so would this little kitty cat, too. I'm obsessed with this cat. Okay, I'm going to look and see if anyone has any questions before we get started. If you're new, please let us know that this is your first time. We like to say welcome. Uh, if you're new to the chat box and you want to see all the conversation, make sure that you click on live chat and not top chat. Some of the um, live chat 
some of the chats are not visible in, in the top. Oh, Kathy says she only lives an hour away from me. Wow. That is amazing. Um, I didn't even know that. I knew you were close. But, okay. So, this is what we're making. We have lots of prizes to give away tonight. We have chick candy to announce. Um, anyway, but we're going to start stamping first. So, I'm going to move this one out of the camera view because we're not making that one but if you still need a, a christmas idea they're made exactly the same it's just using different stamps ink and paper so all the measurements with the exception of this and we're not technically using the gnome dies tonight we're just stamping this in a circle because this one is not one that um let me see if the camera will focus. Isn't that a pretty neat focus? I love it. Um, but we're not using dies. That one doesn't have a die. Okay, move that over. Here's our supplies. This is sweet sorbet, okay? I'm gonna try to keep my desk a little tidier. When I was stamping on, um, Saturday, my desk was a hot, hot mess. I was looking at it later. I was like, holy smokes. Okay, so let me explain. The stamp set that we're using for the gnome is Friendly Gnomes, and that's available in January. And the greeting comes from the Love Cats, because like I said, I'm obsessed. But you could use the greeting that's in here, or you could use the greeting in the conversation bubbles, which is also available in January. The reason um, the reason I use this is because I was already stamping a project with this and I got all messed up and I thought that this greeting went with this stamp set or this stamp set. I was all mixed up. So I was stamping and making a couple projects and I had all these stamps out and it just came together with the wrong greeting. So you could use any greeting that you want in here. I just use that because I got all mixed up, to be honest. I mean, you could put gnome sweet home, uh, gnome sweet, little, 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 gnome sweet gnome, just a note, love you, yum. Yeah, I, I told y'all when I did my um, haul video that I was, that I loved this one. Okay, I could rattle on for a while, so I'll stop now. This is our piece that we're going to stamp on, so let's start with the gnome. And while I'm stamping and what have you, I can tell jokes at the same time. I can multitask. And I hope I got that greeting stamp set because I suspect now that maybe... Oh, yeah, there it is. Whew. Okay. Um, how did the telephone propose to his girlfriend? Wait, this is not the right joke where did this come from how did the telephone propose to his girlfriend he gave her a ring that has absolutely nothing to do with gnomes i have no idea where that came from <laughs> i thought i pulled all gnome jokes i guess i did not okay so the gnome is a uh, photopolymer so Photopolymer likes the Stampin' Mat. It looks like there's no ink on them. I'm wondering if I grabbed the wrong ink pad. We'll see. Oh, it's perfect. And then we're going to stamp the greeting. Oh, you know what? Let's rewind for a second. I don't even need that because... I already cut the circle out so that we wouldn't have to use the die cut machine tonight. I have, I've cut so much paper. Hold on. I've cut so much paper. I don't know if you can see it. I have a bruise right there. Can y'all see the bruises? Using that big old guillotine paper cutter. Is that what it's called? Guillotine? Uh, oh, I got a little smudge. It'll be fine. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I don't want to get the die cut machine unless I don't have any choice because my hand needs a break. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was successful. That was why I said, yeah. I'm glad you like the gnomes. Uh, Jody, I I'm glad that you like that idea. I cannot take credit. Somebody told me about it a long time ago. And when I discovered that, I was like, oh, well, you know what? I'm going to color this on here because I think it makes it a little bit easier. We are using three colors tonight. We're using uh, crumb cake. What's this pink? Petal pink and sweet sorbet. So I'm using the Stampin' Blend markers and um, not too much coloring though, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start with the dark sweet sorbet. I don't like that little fuzzy part I got on there, but. Okay. I have to concentrate. I don't wanna mess up. When I was making this project today, I um, I colored him like three different times to figure out the, I was trying to figure out how to color him, you know. Um, yeah, this is my, my practice. Something wasn't right um, in, I guess, both of those. So, third time's a charm. Okay, so who has not purchased a single Christmas item yet for a, for someone else? Not for themselves. You don't count because I always buy myself Christmas presents. I don't mean to. It's just I go shopping at these special places like the Holiday Mart, and then I end up buying everything for me. Uh, so who has not started shopping yet? me at last minute angie does really well not shopping until the last minute oh no that bled a little bit so be careful when you're coloring his um his little nose don't get too aggressive around the uh the okay i'm not the only one yes <laughs> um okay now crumb cake so on here, you'll notice that I didn't color his mittens or whatever you want to call them, gloves, whatever. Well, that's because I like white gloves and white shirts and white pants and white everything. So if you want to color his mittens, you can. I didn't want to bring a third color in. I just, y'all know, I struggle. I'm more of a a monochromatic person so um, there's no way I could have decided on what third what the third color would be so I'm like I'm just gonna let him have white gloves white gloves is fine so this is the dark um, crumb cake and then I'm gonna take the light <laughs> I, I'm laughing because a lot of us women do actually shop for ourselves more than we do other people. It's not that we mean to. It's just there's so much good, so many good deals for us, right? So cute. Okay, we are done with those. So now we can attach that circle. And now, like I said, if you have the owls or if you're getting the owls, same same thing. It fits in the same circle. But I'm going to use my liquid glue and add that to the scallop circle. So this one is the stylish shape dies, and this is the layering circles dies. I used 
uh, crumb cake instead of sweet sorbet because I was thinking that this is, I was making this a little bit more for the masculine. You know what I mean? Like I could have used sweet sorbet here. I could have used a different color ribbon, but I was trying kind of sort of to make it masculine. I'm going to wait and add the grating uh, after we get this on the box. So I'm going to slide this over and now we're going to start assembling stuff. So I cut out, these pieces here are from the Seasonal Labels dies. And let me um, show those to you. Seasonal Labels dies. And uh, yes, I have two sets of them because that's the size right there that cut that. So when I cut for classes, bingo and that type of thing, I usually have two of each set of um, dies so that I can run it through two at a time. So I cut out two pieces of sweet sorbet and then two pieces with the, what's the name of the paper? Um, my most favorite in the new catalog, it's Country Gingham Designer Series Paper. And I'm gonna bulk buy it. I love it so much. So I'm just gonna, so I did two of them and I'm gonna attach them to each other to make it stronger. There's that one. And we'll set that aside. Okay, that's looking weird to me. It's like, okay, what did I do? That wasn't fitting. <laughs> okay, there's both of those. So now we need to make the box. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my Simply Scored scoring tool. Okay, I printed off the wrong jokes. I don't know how I did it. You know what I did? I decided. <laughs> I decided to do Valentine jokes instead of gnome jokes because I already told gnome jokes a few weeks ago. Okay, so this is the, the printable that you guys can print for free over on my website. And I went ahead and did it. All I got to do is update the link with the to show the video. Um, so people that don't ever head over to my website to print them, this is what it looks like. So it has the picture. It has the supply list, the items that won't be available until January, and then here's the box template. Uh, when I post a video like tonight, uh, when it's an unpaid event, my PDFs are always free. When I charge for a class, those PDFs are available for a very small fee, okay? So I don't give the PDFs to my classes away for free because it's a paid event. Um, for people to get it. Does that make sense? Hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying. Anyway, this one's free. So only when I'm having a class is it not free. Okay. And now the reason I got that out is because I need to see the scoring measurements. So this piece measures five and a half by seven. And on the seven inch side, I'm going to score it at two and three quarters on both sides. Two and three quarters two and three quarters. And then on the five and a half inch side, I'm going to score it at one and a half on both sides. One and a half. I'm looking at that and it's like they it don't even look right, but it is. Um, so I'm going to fold on the score lines and burnish with my bone folder. Okay, so welcome new people. Thank you, Sherry. Sherry says my PDFs always, she appreciates, I can't talk tonight. 
Okay, I'm reading multiple comments at the same time. Um, someone said, where is it? Sherry said, my PDFs are always great. And then Sue says she appreciates the free PDFs. You are welcome. Oh, did I mess up? Okay, hold on. Let me get my turn. Hi, I didn't say anything to you. <laughs> I did mess up, didn't I? Oh, goodness gracious. I don't even know what I did. Well, okay. Who said that? Kathy, thank you so much. Yeah, I messed up. I have to get another piece of cardstock. I have to get up. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I told someone earlier today, I said, I am toast. I have worked uh, sod for like, <laughs> not complaining, I'm just going to say, I have not had a minute's rest in over a week. So I say I'm toast. Okay, so this is five and a half by seven. So let's do this again. Let's cut this at seven. Okay. Since we have this, we can just use this to score, right? No, I don't like scoring with this, to be honest. It'll only take me another minute. Okay, on the seven inch side, we're going to score at two and three quarters on both sides. Now I'm nervous. I got the wrong measurements. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. On the five and a half inch side, I'm going to score at one and a half on both sides. That looks right. <laughs> I'm glad I looked up. Wow, Becky says she had to buy another binder for her, for all the PDFs. That makes me happy. That means you liked a lot of them, right? That's awesome. Okay, thank you for correcting me. Um, now we're on a roll. Not really, because I'm fixing to take a, a commercial break. Is the lighting okay? I guess I should put this back in here. This is what we're actually making, right? Okay, I'm gonna put my glue cap back on and set everything aside. And now we're gonna have a few minutes of uh, housekeeping notes. So my new chick candy was posted over on my website today. And the way you enter to win is you place an order, you get one entry for every $25, and you can leave a comment and enter for free. All the details are over on my website. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is, Chick Candy. So there's all the details. Um, yeah, there's all the details. So the deadline is the 13th. And I have another Chick Candy that is happening over on my blog and there are very 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 few comments and um, I'm giving away a stamping cut and emboss machine the first week of January and um, and the entry time the way you enter you have all month but there's very few entries on the comment side so I'm like okay what's going on people don't want to win a stamping cut and emboss machine I don't know um or maybe, I don't know, there's very few comments over there. So I'm like, I'm going to say something tonight. Okay, so the winners for the Chick Candy last week, everyone has already contacted me and they have already shipped. So these were our winners from last Tuesday. Um, Ramona already claimed hers. Uh, Sherry claimed hers. And, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name, but... I just, man, I, Janet, maybe, 
Maybe it was Janet. I think it was Janet. Um, yeah, so they've already shipped. So tonight's YouTube Chick Candy is the Rectangle Stitch Dies, the Glittered Organdy Ribbon, and the Frame and Festive Class Packet. And the way you enter to win is when the video's over tonight, uh, leave a comment when the video's over. So the chat box doesn't work. I can't draw from the chat box. So leave a comment when the video is over. And let me show you those items real quick. So the rectangle stitch dies will be the first one. The glittered ribbon. And then the framed and festive class packet. And I will draw the winner Thursday morning and post it on my blog. And I will reply to your comment if you win. That's, I do it every week. Most people have been claiming them, so that's good. Our instant prizes tonight when we're done at the very end. Uh, the first prize is going to be Mischievous Mice. The second one is All Together uh, Pack of Paper. And then the third one will be the Sunshine and Rainbows uh, Designer Series Paper. This will happen at the very end of the video, and I will draw the winners from the chat box. Okay, any questions? Actually, there's one more. This is my current host code, minimum $50 order. You get to choose a stamp pad or Stampin' Blend markers, color of your choice. I have a little form you fill out and select your, um, your choice. Makes it really easy, okay? Now, any questions? Put this over here. Yes, congrats to all of our winners. Sometimes I forget to say that uh, here on the video. I do say it when I email them or when I reply to them, though. Yes, congrats, everyone. Okay, so now we're going to go back to making our project. So I'm going to get my scissors, and we're going to make this box. And I'm going to get my template in front of me. Now, that's not showing up very well, is it? Okay, so we're just going to cut right here on that line and right here on this line and then we're going to angle cut and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side angle cut angle cut we are done with that so now I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. It really likes the silicone craft sheet. So if you've tried the um, Stampin' Seal Plus and it gave you fits, try the, try the silicone craft sheet. It makes it perfect. Okay, so then this is going to fold like that, okay? Okay, we're ready for another joke. <laughs> what do you call two birds in love? Tweet hearts. Okay, here's our box. Now we're going to add these panels. So I'm going to put my glue here. Now I will tell you, I didn't decorate the back of my box previously today. Yes, I'm doing paper shares. I won't be announcing all the details though for another, we can't take money until uh, seven days before the catalog goes live. And I know a lot of other demonstrators, or I don't know a lot, I think some are probably already taking registration, but we're not allowed to take money yet. Um, so I'll wait until we get a little bit closer because we're not allowed to take money yet. <laughs> so it's called a, a pre-registration if I, if I do it now. Um, but then it always confuses people because they're like, well, wait, I ordered it. Why am I not, why don't I have it yet? I'm like, okay, we, it's confusing because we're not allowed to take money. 
until seven days before it, it goes live. So, yeah. I have started working on the charts. I haven't finished them. Uh, I got started, and then, of course, bingo. Um, so when I get the charts finished, then I'll work on the math of what I'm going to charge and what have you, the configuration. And I'll be doing the same thing I do every year. I'll offer 6x6 six six, uh, paper shares and 6x12 six paper shares. And I do want to say, all of you that have purchased paper shares from me from all these years, because I have done them at what seems like forever, I do appreciate you. Hopefully y'all know that. Okay, I did not bring the bag in here um, to do this again because I don't really have any more of that. I could do the bag empty, but we'll just, y'all know. <laughs> okay, that's going to go there, and I'm actually going to pop that one up. I will tell you, too, I'm actually out of the 6x8 bags. I use them to um, package uh, bingo uh, which card I think I can't remember which card one of the cards I packaged them in in, in our six by eight and that left me with none I actually found this one on the floor and I was like yes <laughs> so I have on my little um, to-do list or my purchase list to get more six by eight bags doesn't that look so cute there? Okay, and now our embellishments. So the embellishments are also new. We used lots of new product tonight. Uh, the ribbon that, that we used um, is the red, look, uh, red, real red and burlap ribbon combo pack. So it's it's on the um, same page as the country bouquet bundle. Yeah. Um, so the embellishments that we're using is the Milky Dots. And I know you look at this and you're probably like, well, what made her use that? I don't know. It, I pulled it up and I looked at it and I'm like, hey, that looks kind of different. I don't, I can't tell you what these colors are. Uh, I still don't have my catalog. Can I just pout for a second? It is December 6th. I still don't have my catalogs. Every day when the mail runs, I have a pout fest. I'm like, what does it take for me to get a catalog? I'm just so unhappy about that. <laughs> I probably never will get it. I did order cases of them, but we can't order those second day air. So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. Anywho. Um, yeah, I really like them, though. I mean, I like these two colors. These are a little much for me, but I love these two. Yeah. When I use all of these, I'll just give somebody those. How about that? So Kathy said she got her catalog. My mail, David already went and got the mail today. I did not. And Kathy, I don't think you live that far from me, do you? I think that you live, I think you live close to me, don't you? Okay, so we're going to pretend, hey, let's do this. We'll just slide this over here. I could take that ribbon off, right? That's what I'll do. <laughs> we'll finish this thing. I've already taken pictures of the other one. So like I said, all the measurements are the same except um, like the circle on the front front row. That needs to be a little bit longer. Do y'all do that? Sometimes you don't give yourself enough ribbon to, to tie a pretty bow. I do love this ribbon though. It has a very nice texture to it. So y'all are going to like it for sure. And we're fixing to do instant prizes in just a minute. I just want to get this finalized. 
There you go. That looks better, right? Yeah. Again. So cute. Uh, Carolyn asked, are they punishing me for not going to on stage? No, they would never, they would never do such a thing, but it does feel like it, right? Um, a uh, bag was used for card number one and being, oh, that, thank you, Kathy. Yes, because, because you got your kit, you already know. Yeah. Okay, so we are done with our project and we're going to take a couple minutes now uh, to give away some prizes. Um, Lisa asked, what color is the ribbon? It's called burlap. So in the, in the catalog, it's called, it's a, it's a combo pack. So there's a roll of real red. So it's real red and burlap combo pack. Yeah. Yes, we always get our catalogs like, and I don't know why. It's like living in the middle of the country, you would think that we were like in another country because everything that comes to the middle of the United States is like on the slow boat. <laughs> it's not just the catalogs. Everything is slow coming to the middle of the state or the country, the United States. Yeah. Um, prizes. I'm going to grab these real quick. Does anybody have any any questions before we do the giveaway? Am I forgetting anything? No. Um, wow. Okay, so handmade by Diana. Angie, I've been following you on YouTube for about 14 years now. Even though I'm in Australia. Is it Australia or Aust Austria? I can't pronounce it. Um, Merry Christmas to you too. That's so nice of you. I really appreciate it. I know I'm no spring chicken. There's people doing, everybody does what I do now. You know, back when I started, it, there wasn't many of us that was online. And um, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Lisa says the burlap seems it would be more harsh. It's not burlap texture. It's burlap color. Um, yeah, it's not even burlap. I think... I think they couldn't call it crumb cake because um, here's crumb cake and it's not crumb cake. And they couldn't call it soft suede because soft suede is way too dark. So I think they just came up with burlap. Yeah, but the texture of it is just grow grain. It's a very nice texture. Yeah, hopefully you can. Can you see that? I'm hoping it's zooming in or not zooming. It's focusing. Uh, do gift cards fit in that box? You know, you would think I'd have a gift card. Hold on. <laughs> I have um, I have a gift card in this box here. Here we go. Let's see. I haven't unpacked my bingo stuff yet. Um, it'll fit, but it'll stick up a bit and it won't fit sideways. Uh, the name of the dies that I use for the gingham is seasonal labels. And I'll show those to you again real quick. Seasonal labels. This is what it looks like. Yeah, it's in the annual catalog. Oh, you're right. Brown, baked brown sugar. That's exactly what color it is. Although we don't have that color. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing at Sue's comment about uh, I'm not really a spring chicken. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the seasonal label dies is what made the box. Well, the front and the back of the box and then this is the actual box you know so but the seasonal label dies is what what did that okay uh any other questions will i be doing large calendars oh you mean those black ones i bought 
I don't think so. I didn't sell very many. I got stuck with a whole lot of them. So I thought it was a really good idea, but not many people purchased them. So yeah, um, that was a good question. I'd like to have at least a couple myself. Uh, Becky says the dies are on page 174. Yeah, and this is Sweet Sorbet. Sweet Sorbet. It looks a little red, but it's Sweet Sorbet. Okay. I'm going to slide these over. The, we're going to give away a couple prizes now. These are instant prizes, so don't get these confused with the gifts that I'll be giving away on Thursday morning. I showed those to you earlier. So to enter to win an instant prize, you're going to use the chat box now. So for those of you watching this after the fact, so sorry, but head over to my website and enter to win Chick Candy. And I do really actually like giving gifts. That is one of the reasons why I also joined as a demonstrator 20 years ago. I like giving gifts and I like packaging and, you know, what am I saying? You already know me, right? Okay, again, I'm going to give you a number and you're going to type this into the box. And... I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you the number I'm going to draw as soon as, as soon as I tell you. Okay. So I want you to type P is in Paul and seven P seven. If you would like to win this mischievous mice stamp set, and I'm going to draw the 12th name on the chat box. Make sure you're on live chat, not top chat. Okay. Live chats where I'm going to be drawing the 12th name. I see one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, okay, we have 12 now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Jamie Sanders is the 12th name. Now, I'm going to put up this um, address. So, Jamie, use this URL right here and fill out my form to claim your prize. That gives me your address so that I can mail this to you. Okay? Now, let me. Okay, so Jamie won this one. The next prize is this. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, the next prize is the All Together Designer Series Paper Pack. And this is the entire pack. And this is instant prize number two. And so you're going to type, row, row. I don't have a post-it note. Oh my gosh, I almost fell out of my chair. Um, where's my post-it notes? That's okay, I'll write on here. So on here, on this one, you're going to type, wait, let me make sure I'm at the very, very, very bottom. Um, yes, congrats, Jamie. See, I forgot to say congrats again. This one, you're going to type P, is in Paul, 9. And I'm going to draw the 8th name. So number 8. You're going to type P9. P9. I'm going to draw the 8th name. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five. It goes so quickly. <laughs> okay, if they're safe to, it's safe to say there's there's eight there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Kenneth Weaver. How do I type this on this little post-it note? I mean, this little thing, Kenneth. Weaver. I'll put Weaver down here. Same thing. I need um, your address. So fill out my form at that link. If you can't find it, just shoot me an email. Okay, we got one more prize and then I'm going to sign off. Congrats to you. <laughs> um, I'm laughing because I forget to say congrats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I gave that gift to the wrong person. Did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I did. That's okay. Sue Ann, you were the eighth person. I have a second pack of these, so I'll send you one too. And I know you just won, like, I don't know, a week ago, right? But that's okay, because you were the eighth. Sue Ann, do you want do you want this pack a pack of paper? Because I have another one. You were technically the eighth person. Just let me know, okay? Our final one. I need another piece of paper for this one. Because I'm going to mess it up if I don't. Here we go. Nope. Can't use that either. We'll use this. Okay. So this pack of paper is the... Yeah. Congrats to Kenneth and Sue Ann. Um, this is the Sunshine and Rainbows paper. And you're going to type in P2. And I'm going to draw the 15th name. Okay? P2. Paul 2. We'll put one on each side. It looks so much better, right? Okay, there's one. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's safe to say we have 15, so let me count those, and I might count them two times. So 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna write this on my paper before I say it out loud, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a second time. So let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes. Okay, I did it twice. So D I A N A, Diana. Tops. Congratulations. You were the 15th name. I think you won a couple weeks ago too, right? You're welcome. Okay, I need a piece of tape to put on this. Well, actually, I'm just going to slide it up and not move it. That way I won't, I won't get anything confused. And I can ship these out as soon as I get y'all's address. Okay, congratulations to everyone. Does anyone have any questions before we sign off? Uh, the PDF and what have you uh, will be available in about an hour. I'm going to go upstairs and have dinner. I have, like you can see, I have almost all of it ready. I do have to put the QR code, code and I have to finish the blog post. So give me about an hour. Yeah, right, right around 9 o'clock, um, it should be done. I know that's really late for a blog post, but late's better than not done, right? Yeah, late's better than never. Although I'm not really a late person when it comes to going someplace. No more questions? Okay, uh, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. Um <laughs> okay, have a good night. See y'all later. Thank you again.